Hey guys, Adam here. What I have for you today is a demo of FaceTime for the Mac. I've been looking forward to FaceTime for the Mac ever since I got my iPhone 4 back in July, and it's finally out today. The beta version is out, and if you have Snow Leopard 10.6.4 or above, then you can go ahead and click the link in the description below and download the beta. But anyways guys, this is FaceTime. This is the application as you can see right here. It's a pretty simple application. The icon is down there. It's kind of like a camera. Um, looks pretty cool. And then you do have the main screen here, which you see the iPhone sized window right here. As you can see right here, if you look where my hand is, it does kind of cover that up with the contacts just to show you, you know, what the person on the iPhone slash iPod Touch N will be seeing. And over here on this black section, you get favorites, recent, and contacts and the contacts are straight from your address book. But anyways guys, let's call Duncan, which you see right here. Duncan is a fellow YouTube tech reviewer, and I do want to thank him for uh, being in my video and helping me out with this demo. So definitely check out his channel and the link in the description below. But here we go guys, let's call Duncan. And he is going to be using his iPod Touch 4th generation. So here we go guys, this is the FaceTime call with Duncan. What's up Duncan? Nothing much, hey man. Um, so going over the interface here briefly, it says FaceTime with Duncan, which is of course the contact I have Duncan as, and then you have three options down here, which is similar to on FaceTime for your iPhone or iPod Touch. You have mute, so now I'm muted, he cannot of course hear me. Then you also have make into full screen, which now you see me and Duncan in larger views of course. And then you have an end key right there, which I'm not going to click until the end of the call. Um, but Duncan, switch your iPod Touch into landscape mode, let's show the viewers how this works. So as you guys can see here, when the other person switches their iPod or iPhone into landscape mode, it automatically switches your FaceTime call um, into landscape, which is pretty cool as well. And if you guys want to switch into landscape when you're on your computer, you go ahead and Duncan switch back to portrait real quick. You go sure. ahead and when they're in portrait, you go ahead and click video on the top and click use landscape and it switches you into landscape. And then Duncan, if you want, you can switch to landscape as well. So in general, this FaceTime for Mac application is pretty simple. Uh, like I said, you can download it right now, the beta version. And, you know, the quality is pretty decent. Duncan does say that the quality on his end is just as good as um, the iSight camera, which isn't the best quality in the world in general. But of course, I don't see him in terrible quality. It's about average as normal FaceTime calls. But there mm -hmm. we go, guys. That is a demo of FaceTime for Mac. I do want to thank Duncan. Uh, for being in this video demo, and Duncan, if you want to say anything else, go ahead. Oh no, I'm just saying, I'm just really impressed with FaceTime. It looks really pretty solid on both ends, audio, no really lag or anything like that. It works pretty much just as good as it does between, you know, the iPod, the iPhone. It just works fine. Okay, so there you go, guys. This was FaceTime for Mac. Thanks all for watching.